Humans are talking beings. One of the best features that distinguishes them from other creatures is that they talk. In this video, we are not talking about how to talk, because there are many lectures and books about that, and now we are going to talk about being silent and keeping secrets. Part 1. The Psychology of Silence A wise man once said nothing. Confucius said that silence is a true friend who never betrays. We have come to think of silence as a weakness or vulnerability. We want to be important by talking a lot, but sometimes we talk about things that we don't want to reveal yet. We have all experienced it. Sometimes we talk so much that we lie, and after a while it becomes normal. Sometimes we talk just to talk. When we talk too much, we can't keep a secret. And most important thing is that this can be our secrets. But what happens when a person can't keep his own secret becomes a slave to others. At the end of the video, I will reveal secrets that you should not share with anyone. The less you talk, the less people know about you. Someone who knows very little and doesn't think deeply tends to talk a lot. They might feel the need to share what little they know, thinking it's more important than it is. This is probably because they want to seem confident or be noticed. On the other hand, people who know a lot and think carefully realize there's still so much more to learn. They speak less but with more purpose, understanding that talking too much can lessen the impact of what they say. They choose when to speak wisely and appreciate the value of staying quiet when they don't have something important to share. It's all about recognizing your own limits and being smart about when to speak up. Have you ever wondered why you have two ears and one mouth? One of the most important principles in the field of communication is to listen first and understand, then wait to be understood. Who knows little and thinks little, speaks much. Nietzsche, part two, how talking too much affects your dopamine. What is dopamine? Dopamine serves as a motivation source, particularly when we anticipate a reward. The release of dopamine increases when we expect a reward or think about engaging in an enjoyable activity, driving us to take action and seek the reward. And when we tell people about our plans or dreams that we haven't realized yet, our brain releases dopamine and we get that motivation that we need just as a hormone, because our brain thinks that we have achieved our dream and we have less motivation to work. Maybe some things are left unfinished. Keeping quiet and working without telling anyone makes it easier for us to take steps to lead ourselves to success. Work hard in silence, let your success be your noise. Part three, secrets that you should not share with anyone. One, don't tell anyone about your weaknesses. Telling people about your weaknesses increases the risk of them using them against you in the future. And from my own experience, I can tell you that most of the time, the secrets you share with people make you regret them later on. So always keep your secrets to yourself. Two, your dreams. Don't tell anyone about your dreams in life except your real friends and people who will help you achieve them. You may ask, why? Because when you tell someone about your dream, they will automatically know your capacity. Yes, your dream may be valuable and big for you, but some people don't want you to do well. And they may look down on your dream and demoralize you. Don't let anyone do that to you. 3. Your financial situation. If you are a person with a lot of money, you will be surrounded by people who are only there to take advantage of you and it is difficult to understand which ones are sincere and which ones are not. Everyone is curious about the financial situation of the person they meet. This is normal, but it is always best to keep it secret. 4. Family Problems If you tell other people about your family problems, other than people you trust, those problems can get worse. It's better not to tell family problems to people you don't trust. 5. Relationship don't tell anyone about your relationship and your private life, your partner's flaws or mistakes. It's just between the two of you. You share this life together. If there is a problem between you, talk about it with people you trust and who have experience, but don't tell people about your private relationship so that you can have a more peaceful relationship and live your happiness together. 
Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more.